Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we get to flex a little more of our investigative uh, capabilities. Uh, just sign me up for Detective Academy. I'm gonna pass immediately. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all so much for joining me. And the, re the recording, the VOD, whatever, the normal stuff will start in a moment. Um, you guys, you guys, yeah, you did have names, but, okay. Oh my gosh, my dog stinks. I don't want to do the swoop races. I actually don't know. I need to go to the, wherever that place they were staying is, I think, can I go there? Can I go to that hotel? Gives us too little jaw combat ability? You're not wrong. Elora, she's still gonna hang out there. Where do I go? Where do I go from here? The Merc. Oh, that was the Merc Enclave that I was just in. Also getting buff. You made. Yeah, you're getting buff with me, Tobias. Hog champ. We're gonna get buffed together. We're gonna go beat up lions in the jungle. The swoop raises are the best part of the game! Right up there with Pisic! Oh my gosh! Ah! No! I ignore both of those religiously. Use the force to drag me clear home? That's your job. That's your prerogative. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. The tail is still not taking me on in a fight. That's, uh, I'll just, I'm just, I'm just the buffest always. Super buff. I thought there was, wasn't there a, I thought he was in this section. There was that guy that I'm supposed to meet by myself. Is he... I feel like that's gonna be like a dark side thing, though. <laughs> You're not the one place. Everybody has the force powers. I'm curious. Hmm... Business. Wait. Oh, what? No. I don't want to talk to you. I forgot that's what he sold. He sold. Okay, I got, but I gotta find the hotel. I don't, I don't think I've even seen the hotel. I could also go talk to the Republic Enclave right now. I'll keep going though. I'll keep going in here. He just say winky, probably. You're getting buff now, cause you've- Right, you're my arch rival! Yeah, yeah! A muscly, sexy showdown anime style! I look forward to it. <laughs> we're gonna- we're gonna be the best there ever was. You know- you know- you- you know- you know how to win your way into my heart, and it's through a- a, a sexy, muscly showdown. Where we both can appreciate each other's buffness the whole time. Sith base. So this is as far as this goes. I don't know where the hotel is. Because the ultimate power is friendship, I will win. Because the ultimate power is my muscles. Yeah, he's my nemesis. It's one of those stories where it's like, um, the, the rivals, like, slowly, like, fall in love and respect each other, and then they take over the world afterwards. Oh, I should go down this way. No. It's Republic Enclave. Love the- I know, I'm a super, I'm a super huge fan of, like, two people who are, like, 
I, I love the stories where it's like two people who are like at opposite ends. As long as it's not too dramatic, where it's like, you know, oh no, we'll never be together. I'm not a huge fan of like the Romeo and Juliet thing, but I am a fan of two different people learning to like love and respect one another. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fan. <laughs> You would think the hotel would be closer to the, like, the beginning, but I didn't see it. Fifty Shades of Grey, no, Rain, why? Why? Buffy or Spike? Uh, I guess I'm Buffy. I did love that. Well, I loved, I don't know, I didn't watch a lot of Buffy. I tried, and then things got really dark and really weird, and I was like, oh, this makes me unhappy. But I liked what I saw of Buffy and Spike, that it was a complicated relationship, and it wasn't like, I don't know. It wasn't perfect, but it was, it was interesting. Yeah, 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 exactly! Didn't Spike? Well, see, I don't know. I don't know if he did. He may have. That's why I, I stopped watching when it got kind of dark. Like, okay, where's the hotel at? I'm just gonna go talk to the Republic Enclave because I can do that. That's something I can do. I'm a buff Buffy. Did he really? See, that's not good. Well, wasn't there, like, I don't know, Spike, like, changed or something, right? Like, he kind of became, like, uh, Angel? Where Angel had a soul, but Spike didn't have a soul, and then he did? I'm just running back and forth, back and forth. Okay, we're gonna go talk to the Republic. Because they're gonna give me info, I think, on the Manon Starforge map. You like the Angel show better? I never actually watched it. Buffy got good when it got dark. I don't know. I liked it being sort of this, like, I don't know, fun thing. Like, I don't know. I, I liked it when it was more fun and lighthearted and people weren't dying and being resurrected at random intervals. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. I forgot. The Visitor's Hotel was right next to the Republic Enclave. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha I'm a genius. There's a security bots everywhere. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. You're the one defending Sunry now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, you do. I know, right? The, the, the Sith uniforms are actually pretty cool. Like, very... It's like, uh... They all look like advanced troopers. What do you know about Sun... What do you know about Sunri and Elasa? Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunri would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. Tell me what you saw the night of the murder. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunri comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunri running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Wait, like he... He started running... After the shot went off? I mean, that would make sense. If he did it, it's like, shoot, and then you run, right? It's not like, it, it would be, it would be a bigger difference if he was running before the shot. You know? Because then he couldn't have shot. They ended the dark bit with a musical? Okay. Intimidation's what matters, and the hotel worker keeps tabs. Oh, of course the hotel worker keeps tabs, especially regulars. Like, you're bored, right? Like, people, like, who work behind counters, they see all kinds of things. Are you sure? 
could it have gone off after he left? That's a leading question. You can't ask leading questions. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. Uh, could he have gone off after he left? Wait, what? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible. Just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. Oh, never. Okay, I want to ask something else. That's... That's lies. What do you want to know? I want to figure out the truth. If it, if if Sunri is implicated in the evidence, then I will charge. Then I I don't know. I guess I can't charge him, but I would agree to him being charged. But were there witnesses? Who are the witnesses? There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Glupor. Seems like a really dirty, shifty type. Normally, I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here. So I decided to take Racist! a chance. The other is a regular named Feareth Me. He's a bizarre ah! player. Probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to so, know? So, two very shifty people. Surely in all situations, he would run after the shot. Why would he? Well, if he ran before the shot, that would mean that, like, somebody else was in there threatening them and, like, told him to leave or something or, like... Um, you know what I mean? Like, if he was running, or maybe he was walking and leaving, and then the shot went off, and that's when he started to run, you know? That could be a possibility as well. I know, right? What kind of hotels three guests at a time? It's like, shh, it's okay. It's the off-season. It's the off-season in Waterworld, you know? You get better discounts and stuff. Okay. I asked both of these, telling us on the night of the murder, what do you know about Sunri and Alas? I have no more questions. Well, okay. He thinks they're lovers. If you need anything else, I'm gonna be right here. What's my journal entry say? Ignis is the proprietor of the hotel that the murder of Alasa occurred at. He told you that he heard the blaster shot go off, then saw Sunri hobbling away from the crime, scene of the crime. Okay, he gets his own little thing. It's not like, it, it's, not like it's like a, a tab within Sunri's story. That's confusing. Okay. All right, we're doing an investigation. I'm so excited. Investigate, investigate, investigate. Oh, that's an open room. Whoa, what? Please, Jolie, Jolie, I'm trying to help. Jolie, I'm trying to help your friend. Here, buddy. Oh, hi, you're the, you're the Rodian. Shiki kun the goggles do look heavy. Like, they look actually very unwieldy. Like, let's be honest. Like, those, the ones that Ellie has on, pretty, pretty snazzy. Very, uh, cyclopsy, you know? But this, this looks like I jammed my face into a microwave and, as a child, and never recovered, you know? So excited, just can't hide it. Good song. The goggles are just so <laughs> So Kai can't kiss me. <laughs> I forced him to wear goggles too. So now if we try to kiss, we just like headbang. <laughs> exactly! Plus my damage on your head, but silver lining, right? Like, you know, you gotta take what you can on these things. The things I do for fashion. Do you know about- I hate- I don't hate it, but it's so funny to me that I, I can just run around asking about a star map and I wonder if there's something in the game that like would- would do something where it's like if you keep asking about star maps, if like you ask a certain amount of times, like for a bunch of different people, if like a, some sort of scene would trigger where it's like, you're going down and it's like a bunch of Sith trying to kill me because I'm trying to figure out about star maps. Whew, I have questions about the murder of Alasa. Why were you at the well he's still at the hotel? Wait, what? Why would you why would you save up a bunch of money just to live at a hotel for a while? That seems weird. What did you see? Okay, 
Oh, you, oh, he hasn't seen, especially not in the Sith ladies' room. Oh, oh he doesn't see, ha, 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 lies, 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 lies. I know, right? Why were you at the hotel? I was sitting at the hotel. We're very good detectives. They don't give us this in Jedi training, okay? I'm doing my best. What's the jaw contraption for? The jaw contraption is for, like, actual better making out. You know what I mean? Like, it's a battle of the jaws. Like, that's what making out actually is. That's what that's for. The headband is is a is a big no. Why? I already asked that. What about Alasa's room? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, no. Nobody paid you. Oh. Oh. Did someone pay you to do something in that room, Glupor? Yes. Oh, I knew it! How did this guy get through the courts? Or any sort of preliminary investigation? <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. Is he has he been poisoned? I why is that door locked to me? Hello. You with the cell cat? You here to see me about the murder, too? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want from me? Gloopers had one too many death sticks? Oh, boy. Uh, over Overlord Nigel, I can't believe it, so they clearly never do anything wrong like plant evidence. What, what in the world gave anybody that idea? Why? What, the Sith have done nothing wrong in their lives ever. What do you know about Sunri and Elasa? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Elasa's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with her damn antics, Wait, usually. Uh, uh, were they arguing? You mean Sunri? <laughs> I mean, he's pretty old. I'm not judging. But, I mean, uh, it is... <laughs> If he's still going strong at this age, what? good for him. <laughs> you mean Sunder was having a relationship with Elasa? Unless they were like yelling. I'm not saying anything like that. What they did like in, that that. in private is their He's business. so British. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. So he wasn't maybe trying to convert her over to the Republic? He was just sleeping with her? <laughs> the old warrior hero still going strong. <laughs> yep. Everyone keeps saying he's a cripple, but apparently he's still going pretty strong. Off my detective badge in no time, I know. That's the thing about being evil. If there's every situation where you don't actually do the crime, you get blamed. I mean... I think you deserve it <laughs> if you're evil. <laughs> Fairy, but how, yeah, Feareth May. Feareth Me? I don't know. Feareth Me is an awesome name. I don't know how you would say it, but it looks like Feareth Me. Feareth Me! Uh, Sith Master? Question mark. Oh, uh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. Oh, yeah, no? Okay. Her Sith Master? Unless she was actually like a, a, a force using Sith, then she'd have a Sith master. Otherwise, she wouldn't. Uh, what did you see? I didn't see anything, and there's no, no! way you can make me say otherwise. Now, quit asking. Maybe I have tossed in 100 credits? Since Yay! Way, well, one time, I saw Alasa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to I my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course, of course. not shifty at all. And her cloak fell. <gasps> now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith, 
I leave them alone and they leave me ah! alone. And seeing as how Alasa had a she was a Jedi, in her or a cloak, Sith Force I'm user. not going to poke that hornet's ah! nest. Ah! She had an actual Sith master. She was a dark Jedi. Okay, do we call them dark Jedi? Because okay, that's what it is. That's what it is in this game. I forget because Sith in a lot of situations is like the actual force users but in this world where the sith is just a group of people like a large group of people the dark jedi are specifically the force users she was a dark jedi seems so but i'm not getting myself in any further with the sith i know how ruthless they are now that's all i'm going to tell you I'll testify to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out but of it. But you're going to, both of these guys are going to have to go back and be like, hey, just kidding. Actually, I lied the first time. You know what I mean? Yeah, all evil Star Wars empires are British. Yes. When they, as soon as the Republic is a galactic empire, everybody switches accents. You're totally right. Exactly, Tobias. Yeah, you're right. It, it, how, that's how they discover rebels. This is per. This is exactly how it's worked. It's a foolproof system that's worked for centuries. Millennia, even. <laughs> Bad guys are British. Always. Oh, hey, can I steal from you? <laughs> I had to give him a hundred credits to bribe him, and I just got it back. <laughs> Please let me out of this room. <laughs> Karth, Karth. Wait, Karth's not- Oh, that's right, I took Karth's off because I thought he looked absolutely ridiculous. And he's a handsome man, and I didn't want him to look that ridiculous. This one. Let me open it. On it. Done. Yay! This is her room, I would think. Nope. Okay, I unlocked it just to get a med pack. I mean, I guess that's worth it. This is literally a four-room hotel. Man, you really do run a boutique establishment. Okay. When does Karth not look at <gasps> Mysterious man! There wasn't a mysterious man down there earlier. Mystery man. Mr. Man? <laughs> Mystery man. <laughs> to counter both the dark and the dark and light Jedi, we have the Rainbow Jedi! Stonesmith! New headcanon! <laughs> we have Rainbow Jedi! Well, I guess we technic technically, technically, we have Grey Jedi, but I like Rainbow Jedi better. <laughs> Are you green? You, Jedi. You look I like hear a zombie. you are investigating the Sunray murder trial, are you not? Hmm. This case is not at all what it appears to be. The <laughs> currents, might I say, flow beneath the Is surface. he British? I can't tell if he's British or pompous. It's hard to tell the difference. <gasps> You're right. I get Leia, Leia, did Leia have an accent? Leia had a, had a British accent. Brits make good bad guys who we were cheap. Right? At the Imperial Academy, they all sound like they're from London, and then someone comes in, Howdy, y'all! <laughs> Everybody looks at you. <laughs> uh, why are they being so coy now? Everyone and their dog has their name above their heads. Uh, what do you... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, what do you mean? I'll this play your game. It's much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey. <laughs> you understand? Who's that? Uh, a big. Uh, uh, uh. Rainbow. There's a rainbow lightsaber. Oh my gosh! I want a rainbow lightsaber so bad. I think so, kinda. Dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They both kept their hands in this from the start. Uh -huh, yes, if you uh -huh. want to get to the bottom uh -huh, of this matter, mm -hmm. you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. I mean, I think the Sith embassy is sort of in tatters. Right? I could go into disguise as a... Yeah, but this, yeah, the Stormtrooper armor isn't flexible, so therefore when I flexed, it would just explode right off me, very anime style. I, uh, I would have to wear something flexible underneath or just walk around naked all the time, which is a statement, but maybe not necessarily one I want to make. Oh, <laughs> uh, they just give it to me? No, no, of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the You look like a zombie, market. my guy! You have to be lewd and devious to get what you want. 
Heed my advice, Jedi. And you may yet find the truth like, in this murder. His clothing was very dirty looking. Why are you being all I thought I I thought I had it figured out, guy, and then you're like, hey, guess what? Blah 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 blah. Maybe things aren't as crystal clear as you thought they were. Yeah, okay, thanks. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Uh-huh. Rainbow color much cooler than blue. I think so. I mean, my favorite weapons in Inquisition are the uh, the rainbow great axe and great sword. You could stay me. Who wears clothes? Who wears clothes in 2019? I only wear pajamas all the time. Flyery, welcome back. Uh, here it is. Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. Mm -hmm. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. Uh huh. I forgot to have the Overwatch League on on my phone in the background so that way I can get, I can get points. I know, right? I, uh, I'm, I've been a Jedi. I, I keep thinking that every, every time, every time somebody calls me a Jedi, I'm like, ha <laughs> The Republic in this game has cool uniforms, like the red gold. I heard apparently there was, um, recently that like, the Republic actually is supposed to have a uniform like the rebel or no the rebels are supposed to have some sort of uniform like not just be in like ragtaggy clothes i don't know that was something very vague i saw recently because appearances matter uh what has the republic done the selkath conservatives with their neutrality treaties seek to treat the sith and the republic equally this includes colto exports but a few more far-sighted selkath See that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. Oh! You violated the treaty! Shh! That's so loud. <laughs> yes, it is a technical violation of the treaty, but it is sanctioned by elements of the Selkath government. We need only to keep it hidden from the Sith. And the other we elements recently of the began Selkath construction government. of a secret underground facility to harvest Colto directly at its what? source. What? We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it. What? Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging team uh. reported some sort of obstruction, uh, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star. Wow, cool. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station oh, since. Oh, buddy, the sharks got them. The alien sharks. <laughs> Shh, top secret wink. We're just gonna talk about it in the middle of the foyer. Uh, the Re Re rebels claim to be the successors of the Republic. Then wearing Republic uniforms is a political move. Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. That would be what they would should do, probably. What happened down there? We don't know. We just don't. What know. do you mean? As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Hrakert Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers no. down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out what happened to the Hrakert Rift station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. So I can't believe that the Cellcath are actually okay with creating a facility down there to directly mine Colto and allow the Republic to try to synthesize it because, I mean, like, if it was in the goodness of their hearts, yeah, they would let them have, like, the medical needs of Colto, you know? Like, it, they would let them do that. But economically speaking, if you have a monopoly on one of the most valuable products in the galaxy, like, you're not just gonna let somebody, like, synthesize that, you know what I mean? All I'm asking everyone about Star Map, and he just says, Oh, we found it! It's fine! How... Uh, how will I get down there? 
I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your Oh, department. nice! Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto and enter the sub therein. They're it in. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary what, population. What, you just been sending the them down there? The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base what? secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. Just sending them to there a murder zone. Left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist. Kono He's Nolan. definitely alive. Or her. I don't know if Kono Nolan. Nolan is a, is a man's name in regular everyday world. Uh, Blueberry! You just got this game? Nice. I've enjoyed it so far. I'm only like 30 some odd hours in. In the lore of the Manon economy collapse. That's right! Because, oh, because back to. But, but don't, don't they have back to tanks? Like, I. They have back to tanks when I, on that planet, you wake up, when you crash land on that planet um, in the very beginning, and like there are some Republic soldiers floating in back to tanks, right? So they have it. I totally forgot. Like I thought maybe Colto was like a part of the back to tanks, but apparently it's something separate. That's interesting. They call them Colto tanks. Okay, so back to different. <laughs> How do you get the pass for the lower city first planet? Uh, you have to get. I actually preferred to do. I think I did the uh, get get Sith armor. And then you got to do. How do you get the Sith armor? You get the Sith armor by like interfering. There's there's like a shakedown happening in one of the apartment rooms. And if you take out the Sith in there, you can take their armor. I, or no, you help somebody and he gives you the armor. He or she, can't remember. Gives you the armor, the Sith armor. I can't remember if you still need the pass after that. But getting the Sith armor is very helpful. And we're gonna cut it off there. I'm super excited to go see alien sharks. I hope you all are too. <laughs> so thank you all again so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.